Negative pressure room or negative airflow room is a room that actually has a lower air pressure than the, the uh, areas surrounding the room, the hallways outside the room, et cetera. And um, the reason for those is essentially to keep infectious agents like viruses that are, that are spread through an airborne method from leaving that room and possibly infecting other people that are walking by or that in the, in the, uh, in the area around, around that room. So essentially it's a way to protect um, the, the other people from a patient that may have a transmissible virus or other disease like tuberculosis that's used in that case as well. Yeah, so COVID is transmitted mostly with uh, airborne particles, um, droplets and, and, uh, and aerosols it appears. And, and uh, aerosols particularly can sort of hang in the air for several minutes and sometimes even hours and potentially can infect other people. Now that's not the primary way that people get COVID, but it is one way that you can get it. So it's really, really important that we have uh, these negative pressure rooms in order to protect the, uh, ca the caregivers, um, visitors, anybody that, uh, that might come near that patient or near that room. Before the pandemic, we, the hospital was built such that we had 11 negative pressure rooms uh, scattered throughout the hospital, some in the emergency department, some in the critical care unit, and some on the floors. Um, since the pandemic, uh, we have added 17 additional rooms so far, and we have 21, I believe it is, uh, 21 that are being constructed, that will be constructed and, and, uh, and then and added, and then another 10 that we'll be receiving soon that we'll need to assemble and, and set up. Yeah, so what you're seeing there um, is a kind of outcropping in the wall there. Is a, it's a temporary, um, that's an ante room. It's a room outside the, the, it's a small room outside the patient's room where, uh, where the uh, uh, staff can change their uh, protective equipment, their PPE and that type of thing. And then um, there are essentially, uh, there's fans, essentially uh, fans that that are, uh, that are directed to pump air out of the room to keep the pressure lower inside the room than it is, than it is out on the outside. And that the, uh, the air that is, that is pumped through the, those, those fans, in, a sense, in, in essence, is filtered so that um, any air that escapes that room has gone through an extensive filtering process so that the uh, infectious particles aren't being transmitted. And uh, the recommendations are when you have a lot of COVID in the community that you adopt extra measures like going up to N95s for people who are taking care of patients um, and, and uh, adding face shields or, or eye protection, basically, eye, either goggles or face shields in order to protect the, the staff from getting it. Um, if, we do, you know, if we do get a significant number of staff members with COVID, it really affects our ability to provide the services for our patients that they need. So we don't wanna have, at the same time, the community is heavily affected by COVID and we have a lot of sick patients in the hospital with it. We don't wanna have a lot of our staff members out uh, sick w with the disease too. So we're just doing everything we can to make sure that we stay ready to take care of the community.